Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Shanghai Triad, a Chinese crime drama from 1995 that was directed by Zhang Yimou and stars Gong Li. In my opinion, Zhang was in peak form during the 1990s. I know a lot of his 2000 films get like most of his, uh, most of the attention, but I think Raise the Red Lantern from 1991, To Live from 1994, not One Less from 1999, and The Road Home from 1999 are top-tier films. They're some of his best films of his whole career. In fact, I would say that Raise the Red Lantern is one of the greatest Chinese films ever made, personally. I do have a review, a review of that one on my channel in a separate video. On top of that, he directed Judo from 1990, The Story of Chu Ju from 1992, Shanghai Triad 95, and a movie called Keep Cool from 1997, all of which are worth checking out. I mean, this director was on fire during that decade. Now, I point this out because Shanghai Triad is, is one of the titles that really just gets lost in his filmography. No one ever really talks about this. Actually, most of his 90s films are kind of under-seen uh, and underappreciated, I think. Uh, but, uh, you know, in part, Shanghai Triad is buried in this uh, very active decade of his career. And also, you know, some people, some viewers, considered it to be a little bit more style over substance, which I could kind of understand, but I will attempt to make a case for it in this video. So this is set in 1930s Shanghai. A 14-year-old boy named Tang Shusheng has arrived in Shanghai to work for a triad boss, also named Tang. Now this gangster, he likes to hire distant relatives because he believes that it breeds loyalty. This boy is taken to a warehouse where two rival groups of triads carry out an opium deal that goes wrong, leaving one of the rival members dead. The boy is then taken to Tang's palatial home, where he is assigned to serve as uh, like a servant for a cabaret singer and mistress of the boss, played by Gong Li. So this kid has to serve Gong Li. You wouldn't think it would be to, it'd be a pretty enjoyable uh, job, right? Well, we'll see. Over the course of seven days, the boy observes mounting tensions as this gang boss starts to suspect some traitors in his organization. And he also suspects certain rivals for Gong Li's affections. So that's, that's what's going on here. So does Shanghai Triad have a... It, it has a fairly basic script. And there are times where it feels like it is a style over substance film. I think it does. However, there is still enough content in this film to really hold my interest. Right off the bat, the premise is pretty intriguing. I mean, we have a teenage boy who's hired by a triad group. And this is old school Shanghai, too. Early on, like, it's really interesting, like, the opening half hour when the uncle is taking this kid. And he's, he's taking him under his wing and teaches him, like, the little nuances how you, how you act when you're when you're in this triad group, you know how to act around this big boss man, how to uh, deal with this cabaret singer played by Gong Li, who's quite temperamental and difficult to deal with. I think it's pretty neat. It's pretty interesting little uh, uh, kind of storyline going on there. There are some effective plot developments during the second half of the film as well, but I think the core of Shanghai Triad is the relationship between this boy and the singer. You know, they do not like each other early on. You know, but they do gradually become a little bit closer as things uh, move along. And we do see how the criminal underworld impacts them as well as those around them. I enjoy their interaction. I actually kind of smile a lot while I watch this film for some reason, even though some, some bad stuff happens. <laughs> I just find it enjoyable. Gong Li, very glamorous in this film. She's allowed to flaunt her beauty quite a bit. She has shown the ability to play uh, very plain characters, like in the story of Chu Ju, as well as Coming Home being some examples. But, you know, she's also very good at playing intoxicating characters, and that's what we have here. In this movie, she's, she's actually a bit vain and pretentious. Uh, very temperamental, as I said, as well. She does not treat her assistants very well, as you'll see early on. Most of the characters don't like her. Most of the characters in the film don't like her. In fact, uh, some people look down on her 
as if she were like a prostitute or something, even though she's not. So, you know, she has this status of being the mistress of like the big boss man triad in town. And she does these performances that get a lot of, uh, I guess, acclaim or, or popularity. But behind the scenes, people don't like her and they don't respect her. Now, as a kid, on the other hand, you know, the kid, he also has problems. He's kind of incompetent. He's from, like, the rural lands. He has trouble adapting to city life. He makes mistakes. Not a complex character, but the mix of him and Gong Li together within, you know, the film, I think is kind of the heart of the film, and that works. As you might expect, given the director, the film looks great. Cinematography is awesome. The 19th... 30s Shanghai aesthetic is really neat. You get some old school cars, clothing, the interior design of some of the buildings is just awesome. A visual feast, especially during the opening half. It's, there's kind of a change of setting during the second half, though. Now, since this is technically a triad film, people get killed. <laughs> Most of the bad stuff takes place off screen or is downplayed, with the exception of maybe one moment that gets a little bit bloody. You don't have to worry about that in this film, though, really. The end of the ending of the film, kind of ballsy, I thought. But there is a certain classiness to this film that kind of takes that edge off from, uh, you know, your typical violent triad film. Just, just a little bit, I think. So it has a nice balance. Again, Shanghai Triad, not typically considered to be one of this director's, like, ultimate best films, even by his fans. But I think it's worth checking out. It's a good flick. You know, I did include it in my top 10 Zhang Yimou film list, which is on my channel. Maybe I'll include a link in the, the description box to that one as well. And uh, I think it holds up after this recent viewing. It is available on Amazon Streaming in the United States. It's also on physical media. And as always, we'll see you next time.